to Comfort Home Nursing Care YouTube channel. Happy New Year 2024. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how to calculate your cycle length. I received a message in the comment section from one of my viewers and she was she had a question and the question goes, how do I know my cycle length? For example, when I see my period on 22nd, is that my cycle length? That was the question. She wanted to know if she started her period on 22nd, if that is her cycle length. And my answer here is, it is a no. It is not your cycle length. 22nd is the day you started your period. And today I'm going to explain in this video how to calculate your cycle length. So if this is the content you're interested in, keep watching. My name is Sarah Adong. I'm working with Comfort Home Nursing Care. It's a group of medical professionals and we provide bedside nursing care services to patients at the convenience of their own homes. We have professional nurses, midwives and doctors that offers bedside nursing to patients from home and from hospital. Our services include post-surgery and wound care, early discharge from hospital, elderly nursing care, stroke recovery, palliative care, nursing consultation, physiotherapy, dementia care, cancer care, and diabetic care. If you're interested in the above services, please contact us on our details running on the screen. All right, let's go straight to discussing how to calculate our cycle length. So in calculating our cycle length, you're supposed to have a calendar and a pen or a marker to be marking on your calendar. So exactly what is a cycle length? Cycle length is defined as the number of days in between two men menstrual cycles. That is the number of days from the first day you see your menstrual period or period blood to the last day before you see your blood of another month. Most people get confused about uh, the number of days that you make you see your period blood as in one two three four five the, the number of days you see your period blood but that is not the menstrual cycle the menstrual cycle is the number of days the number of days from the first day when you see your period blood to the last day before you see the period blood of another month also considering the question that was asked in the comment section that is how do i know my cycle length for example when when i see my period blood on the 22nd is that my cycle length she mistook the day she started her menstrual period for being the cycle length which is not true so i'm going to show you on the calendar here how to calculate your cycle length but it's also important to know that a normal cycle length ranges from 21 days to 35 days that is a normal normal cycle length it ranges between 21 days to 35 days so any day that is below 21 days those are abnormal cycle length then any, any cycle length that is below 21 days that is abnormal sub cycle length any cycle length that is above 35 days is also we consider it as abnormal so according to our question the lady said she saw her period blood on the 22nd according to our our calendar the 22nd is here. So we consider tw this 22nd as her first day of seeing her menstrual period blood. So this is her first day. Then the 23rd is her second day. 24th is the third day. Fourth day. Fifth day sixth day we continue naming all these days irrespective of the day the number of days she saw her period blood we continue naming all these days 
to the last day before she saw her next period blood of another month. So we continue naming all these days. This is day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, day ten, day... We are going to the next month now, February. Day 11, day 12, day 13, day 14, day 15, day 16, day 17, day 18, day 19, day 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27, sorry about that, 28, 29, and let's assume in the month of February, she saw her period again on 20th. Let's assume she saw her period blood on the 20th of the next month. So, meaning her, her cycle length is 29 days, considering that she saw her period blood again in the month of February on 20th. So, 20th is her first day again. First day of the next cycle. So, my dear ones, our cycle length here for this lady who started her period on 22nd and 22nd of January, that was the first day she saw her period. Then the next, the next, the following month, that is February, she saw her period blood on the 20th. So we count all the days in between here through until she saw her next period. So the number of days in between here is 29. So her cycle length, her cycle length, here is 29 for someone who started, for the lady who started her menstruation on the 22nd of January and she saw again another period on the 20th of February. So let's look into another example of counting the cycle length for a different month. So let's use this calendar also, the calendar of March and April to calculate another cycle length. We are giving an example of a lady who started her period, let's say on 4th. She started her period on 4th of March. So this is her first day of menstrual period. Second day on the 5th, but we are assuming that in March she saw her period on 4th and then in April she saw her period, let's say, like on 4th again. She saw the period on 4th. So we are going to count the number of days in between these two menstrual periods. So let's count it together. This is the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteenth day, fourteenth, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. Then we come down here in the month of April, 28th, 29th, 30th. So in the month of April, she started again her period on the 4th. So 4th, be another a beginning of another menstrual cycle so we name here the fourth as the first day again so for this lady who saw her period blood starting on the fourth of march and saw another period blood on the fourth of april again in her menstrual cycle is 30. so here menstrual cycle cycle is 30. I hope you've learned how to calculate our menstrual cycle with these two examples that I've given you for two different months. So it is also important to know that uh, menstrual cycle, there is a normal menstrual cycle, there is 
abnormal menstrual cycle there is regular menstrual cycle and irregular menstrual cycle as i told you earlier on that normal menstrual cycle ranges between 21 days to 35 days so any menstrual cycle that is less than 21 days is abnormal meaning this person who has a menstrual cycle of less than 21 days always sees her period more than twice or thrice in a month also someone whose menstrual cycle is above 35 days this one means this person keeps on skipping her menstruation let's handle regular menstrual cycle regular menstrual cycle means this person because every time, every month, she counts her menstrual cycle. She continuously gets the same number. For example, every, every time she counts the menstrual cycle, you get 30. It means every time you count your menstrual cycle, you always get the same number. That means your, your cycle is regular. How about for irregular menstrual cycle? Irregular menstrual cycle, it means your cycle is varying. You always get varying cycle length. Let's say, for example, this month you might get cycle length 30. The following month you count the number of days and it get, gives you 25 or 26, 27. Like that, you continuously, it keeps on varying. It doesn't mean that the cycle is abnormal. It is simply varying cycle length. As a lady, it is very important to know your cycle length because through cycle length, you'll be able to know also your ovulation day. For example, when you want to know your, when you already know your cycle length, you can easily know your ovulation day. You, you calculate it by putting cycle length. Minus 14 which will give you the ovulation day. For example, your cycle length here is, our cycle length here is 30. So you subtract 14. When you subtract 14 from 30, it gives you 16. Meaning your ovulation is, your ovulation day is day 16. So you look for day 16 from here. So this lady ovulated here. You see, it's very important to know your cycle length as a lady because it will help you to calculate your ovulation day. It also helps you to know your fertile window as well as knowing your safe days. So guys, I hope today we've learned how to calculate our cycle length and uh, we've known the exact definition of the cycle length and also I hope we've known the importance of knowing your cycle length. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also share the video with your friends. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.